All right, we're going to derive this. This is a product rule. First thing I would want to do, though, is rewrite it as 7x to the fifth, and then make this 5x cubed minus 2x to the one-third power. That would be my first step. Now, I could also just pull the 7 out and just leave it out, but I'm just going to leave it in as I go. Anywho, y prime, this is the product rule, derive the first piece. So the derivative of 7x to the fifth is 35x to the fourth. Leave the second part as is. Now, plus, leave the first part, 7x to the fifth, leave this, but derive this. And right here, we have a chain. So we have to derive this, and we're going to have a chain here. So here it goes. I take the one-third, bring it out front. It's going to be kind of big. You have a one-third, bring it out front, leave the inside. 5x to the third minus 2x. Subtract 1 from 1 third, and you get negative 2 thirds. And then this right here is the derivative, but I still need to multiply by u prime, the inside derived. So I need to multiply here still by the inside derived. So the derivative of this would be 3 times 5 is 15 x, bring the dot 3 down, be squared, and the derivative of negative 2x is minus 2. Okay, kind of got into this problem. We are technically done. Need another parenthesis. That is the derivative. Derive the first, leave the second. Leave the first, derive the second. The second piece was a chain rule. The inside is this. You had to derive it there. You derive the outside. You got the one third and negative two thirds. So let's try to simplify this. The key, the most important thing, is the first step. Um, I'm not going to mess with this one. The first piece is all nice and neat. Just got to rewrite it. The second piece, I need to group a whole bunch of junk. Um, the second piece, uh, let's see, are there any negatives? No. So it's still plus, except you're going to have a fraction for the second piece. Looks like you have a 7x to the fifth. And doesn't the 3 go to the bottom? The 3 goes to the bottom, 7x to the fifth on top. This one, because it has a negative power, is going to drop to the bottom. Negative powers drop to the bottom, and this will stay up top. Okay, that's one more step. I want to now try to get this. That would actually be a decent answer, but I still want to learn to be able to get this as one huge thing put together with one denominator. Okay, so that's a good simplification so far. Let's try to take it one more. We're going to have to multiply top and bottom of this one so that we can, in order to add these fractions, doesn't this need to be multiplied top and bottom here? So I don't have really space to, re to write it all, but technically I'm going to write, I'm going to multiply this by this. So when I multiply 3 times 35, I get 105. And when I multiply, I'm multiplying again this whole bottom by this, top and bottom. So 3 times this is 105. X to the 4 stays the same. Now, what happens when I multiply? They both have the same inside. When I multiply this times this, doesn't it just make it one third plus two thirds is one? A lot of times that nice and neatly happens. Again, when you multiply these two things, the one third and the two third makes a one. You don't need the one, but there it is. Plus, you just leave this part. 
and now it's all over 3 5x to the third minus 2x all to the 2 thirds power okay that in my mind would be okay but let's keep going actually no it's not okay this is a simple simplification on top I have my reasons for future chapters you have to keep going what you now have distribute okay 105 times 5 is 2 525 525 x to the 7th and this one's going to be minus 210 x to the 5th plus 7 times 15 ooh, is that 105? 105x to the 7th. And this times this. Sorry, let me put some lines here. We're distributing. Um, <coughs> minus 14x to the 5th. And rewrite the bottom. Okay. And if we want to simplify that nice and neatly, pull out GCFs, and we're done. So Y prime would be, I can pull out, looks like an X to the fifth, and I really don't know what number goes into all these. Maybe seven does. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with it right now. It might be a seven that goes in all those, but I'm just gonna pull an X to the fifth out. Now, oh, by the way, don't these combine? And these combine? So 125 plus 105 is 630. And then because these were x to the 7th, this is going to be x squared. And then negative 210 and negative 14, because these are both x to the 5th, are simply going to be negative 224. Three five x to the third minus two x to the two thirds. That is my answer. Now, there is an importance of why you do this. Now, it's pretty obvious I could have probably pulled out a two at least or some sort of number in that, but those are huge numbers and I'm not gonna mess with it. The key of pulling out the GCF, later on what's gonna happen is you're gonna set both top and bottom equal to zero. And that's why you got to get to this form. For now, it's not really reasonable to you. Okay?